Thanks for joining me. This is Danny, and welcome back to my Real Tech series. I am Alex today. <laughs> Because the Minecraft authentication servers are apparently down. Um, but that's okay, that is not going to affect what we're going to do whatsoever. We are going to be playing with the Vicecraft mod. That is Vicecraft airships that are going to allow us to fly around um, in little vehicles, little like um, little airships. So the first thing of course we're going to want to do when we play with this mod is to make the Vicecraft Volume 1 by Vices. And that's the uh, author of the mod, Vices. And this this book, of course, will tell us how to get started with the mod. Um, so the first thing we're going to have to do is make ourselves one of these airship workbenches. So essentially the way the airships work is that we have these little parts um, that we put together in order to make a ship. And the ships have a frame. And the frame is really the main piece that determines the performance of the ship. So it's going to determine the speed. It's going to determine how high it can fly. So some of the some of the frames have a limit to how high they can go. So if we make a cheap one, if we make the wood ones, we're only going to be, able, be we're only going to have a max altitude of 75. And you can see the speed modifier is zero. So it's pretty much the same speed as walking. Um, <laughs> so we really have to get into the uh, higher tier stuff if we want to have reasonably fast vehicles and the fastest being the mythic airship which doesn't have a crafting recipe by default but I think I am going to enable that because I played around with it in creative mode it's not OP at all there's I don't see any reason why that should be disabled um, <laughs> and the I believe that the uh, recipe requires beacons I think it's like eight beacons um, otherwise, the fastest one that we would normally have access to would be the Nether Star airship, which has a speed modifier of 2.0. Um, and of course, that's my main concern. I want something that's going to be, you know, reasonably fast. None of these ships are really going to be crazy fast, um, but they're going to be faster than just walking around. So up until this point, we've been using our hang glider to kind of get around the base, especially when we're coming down from <laughs> way up on the plateau. Um, We've been using our engineer skyhook to get around the base, and when we wanted to, to travel in long distances, we've been using <laughs> Minecraft boats. These things are all the items that spawn in the airships, and they have various different recipes, um, which include the frame, which we had talked about, a couple of airship engines, which are going to store uh, the fuel, and then also the, every one of them has an ignition, so these can get a little bit expensive, but not terrible, not terrible. And a few leads, and then the airship balloons. Um, now, if we were to, say, try to make an airship balloon. So I got my eight leather, I got my one string. We can go on a regular crafting table, and we can go like this, and check it out. It says that we can make this in a crafting table. Move items, and there it is. But there's not. <laughs> You cannot craft this stuff in a regular crafting table. We have to make the airship workbench. So that's going to be our first step Here's to the workbench. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. It's got a crafting grid looking thing on the top. This is what we can use to craft all of our Vicecraft stuff. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with JEI. So, <laughs> which kind of sucks. We don't get the plus sign over here, which is strange because the recipe does give us the plus sign when we're in the crafting table but not when we're over here. So there's our airship balloon. Besides the frame, um, which basically determines how the thing is going to act, um, we have a few other parts that are mostly going to just determine what the thing looks like. Um, so we've got um, the balloons, we've got the airship engines, which they pretty much all require, or actually they do all require, they all require an ignition, um, and then they all require the frame, and it just shows a few frames in here. This is the uh, mythic frame. <laughs> And there are 27 frames in total, which we already took a look at. And then there's four different airship styles. Now, these have no effect on the performance whatsoever. They just all look different. Um, we have the Weisdenberg, Weissigible, Weisseplin, and then the Weissacron. They're all basically the same with performance. The Weisdenberg has kind of a classic blimp-ish kind of look with just a balloon on top and going connected to the frame on the bottom and then we have the Vicigable which is a unique, unique twist on an airship design and I'm really cold. The Viceplin has more of a techie look to it which we might do that one or we might do the Visacrine which has more of a steampunk look which would kind of match our immersive engineering base or factory up 
up there. So first of all, we need to make a few leads. What we'll do is first we'll make one of the wooden frames. We'll end up wasting a little bit of iron because I'm going to replace it almost. Whoops, I'm going to replace it almost immediately. Do we have any mine carts? Have we not? We have not even found a mine shaft yet, have we? That's interesting. So actually, I'm just going to make two mine carts right away. Whoops. And then we just need whatever wood we want to make it out of. So it will it will appear as the, all the wood ones are the same. Um, they just look different based on you know of course the uh, the wood that we use. Oh right, <laughs> we can't make it in here. I actually find that a little bit annoying, and I'm going to check in the configs to see if we can make it so that we could just use this in the crafting table. The main reason being that we don't have the plus sign when we're in this, that we can't queue up the recipe. And I suspect we also would not be able to use the work table. Yeah, it won't even work in the work table. Um, which would be really nice, because we could have a work table set up just for this mod. So we want to go with the Visacron. So I need to make four leads, I need to make an airship ignition, this is going to require a couple of diamonds and a magma block. Um, so I may have to go into the nether, I can't remember if I picked up any magma blocks, I think I have. Um, and then we're going to need two of these airship engines, so just a lot of iron, a couple pistons, iron bars. Ta-da! There's our first shipped ship, <laughs> the Oak Visacron. Appearance, none. Color, tan. Pattern, plain. Um, we can change all that stuff, and in the process of crafting all the various pieces, I did get a few <laughs> achievements. I got the tinkering at its finest when I made the engine. I'm all fired up when I made the ignition, and now, of course, we got the fry tested, professor approved. So, so here we have basically what is a spawner, um, and we throw this thing. Actually, we're going to need some fuel. We fuel this thing with normal Minecraft um, fuel, so the same stuff you would put in a furnace. Uh, let me clean up my inventory a little bit. Right, that's, that's good. And I'm going to grab a stack of charcoal. Now there is also this stuff called Visaline pellets. Fuel designed for all airship types. Um, it runs for one minute. It requires a piece of coal or charcoal and a redstone. Uh, I'm not really sure why you would do that, because it actually is is less efficient than just regular. Okay, so we shift, right click, basically throws it. <laughs> we get a little explosion, and the ship appears in the world. Now, we can change the way this thing looks. It's very configurable. There are lots of different patterns. We can um, select the colors for it, and we'll take a look at how to do that in a bit. But basically, we right click this thing, and we get an achievement, breaking the sound barrier, which trust me these things don't break the sound barrier we hit the R key by default and we get this little um, GUI so we can put it, this tells us our frame sometimes there are other options in here depending on the modules that we have installed and then we can install a module we'll get into modules in a bit that it's actually book number four so that's the more advanced stuff but we put our charcoal up here or coal or whatever and we can see we can run for one hour and 25 minutes and 17 seconds um, and then we just hit the space key to go up and we hit the WASD keys to go around. So there we are. We're really slow though. <laughs> Crazy slow. Oh, and make sure you do not go in the water. Don't run out of fuel when you're going over the water because when you run out of fuel, the uh, ship will drift downward. Um, if you go into the water, your ship will explode. So just don't do that. Oh, cruff. And then you see when you dismount the ship, which I stupidly did that by accident, but when you dismount the ship, it will sink to the ground. So you don't have to worry about trying to get back up there. Um, to go down, you hit the X key, not the shift key. So if you're, you know, if you're used to creative flight, that might be a little confusing. This is the highest we can go in the ship. Y75. Um, as you can see, we will not even be able to get up to our <laughs> plateau. In fact, we'll, we won't even be able to get up there. So, so obviously this this frame is not going to work for us. Um, it's much too slow, and it doesn't go up high enough. Oh, and the X key will bring us down. So don't do what I did and try to use the shift key. You know, I was playing around with this like crazy in creative mode, kind of testing it and getting to know the mod and everything. I never once hit shift. 
And then I start recording and I hit shift. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we go down, hit the X key. Good thing I have feather falling. And then as we discovered, we hit shift to get out. Um, you can actually go up high, hit shift, and stand there. Like, you can stand on top of your, shift, your ship and, and it will sink down with you. So I'm like not mounted in there. So, so that's that. And as you can see, it's burning fuel all the time. So as long as you've got fuel in there, it's going to burn it. Um, so you might want to take the fuel out when you stop using it. Like a furnace, it's going to continue burning up the thing, the coal that it's got in there right. Whoops, the coal that it's got in there right now. If we go on the ground, you'll see the speed of this thing. You can see it's about the same as walking. Oh crap. I'm going to run out of fuel over the water. Exactly what I said I, that you shouldn't do. <clears throat> so anyway, um, you hit it a couple times if you want to pick it up. Kind of like a boat or a minecart. And that's that. So now, let's make a few changes to this guy. Um, so the first thing that we can do is we can make a different frame. And I've been looking at the different frames and the speeds, and I've been playing around with them. And I've decided that my sweet spot is going to be right about Obsidian. Um, the Obsidian airship gives us a plus 1.5 speed modifier, which means it's actually going to be two and a half times as fast. So that's reasonably fast. And as we go up here, we can see that they're getting faster and faster and faster. All the wood ones have no, no um, speed modifier at all. When you get up into the sandstone, you get a 0.1, so it's a little bit faster. Your altitude starts to go up. Iron, redstone, gold, lapis and they start getting progressively better. Nether brick is basically doubles your speed, and soul sand, so on and so forth. And then we get to obsidian, and we're up to one and a half speed, and our max altitude is 220. Beyond that, we get to diamond. Here, our max altitude is unlimited. And then everything above that is unlimited. So we have emerald. And you can see these are quite expensive. They require blocks. We could probably get our hands on some prismarine later on. And then we have the purper ones, um, which are 1.9 speed. And then the nether star is going to give us a two speed modifier. Now, I think obsidian is going to be fine because it's much, much cheaper than the next tier. And it's only a little bit slower because it's 1.5 versus 1.6. And I think that a max altitude of 220 is going to be fine for us. I don't think we're going to need that unlimited for now. Although we are, I am going to work toward at some point getting the nether star and or the mythic. But there are other things we can do to make it even faster still. So let's, but let's start with that. Let's start by making an obsidian. So we're going to need eight, eight obsidian and our mine cart. Oh, but we can't do it in there. <laughs> Darn it. And that's going to make our obsidian airship frame. And then what we can do is we can take our airship, we can throw it again. So again, we shift right click, blows up, and we get that. And then we take our obsidian airship and we shift left click, and that upgrades it. Now we are flying with style. What is that? Craft a colored airship? Oh, I, it is kind of colored. Look at that. We've got obsidian, like an obsidian frame. So now check check this out. This is going to be, we hit R to open this thing. We throw our fuel back in there. And you can see it is much faster. Much, much, much faster. Um, and I think we're going to stick with this speed for, well, with this frame for now. But there are, there is still more we can do to speed this guy up, um, even without upgrading the frame. So we're going to look at that. This is a fairly decent speed. It's not, you know, it's not... OP fast or anything like that, but it's not terrible. Oh, crap. What? Oh, oh, no, he's in there. How did he get in there? How weird. That's fine. <laughs> okay, now it'll start to sink now that, now that it's empty. Okay. So as you can see, when there's anything in the airship, it will, it'll hang in the air. Not forever. It will actually sink eventually. But it will sink very, very slowly, and as soon as it's empty, it sinks faster. In fact, it sinks at an accelerated pace, so it's, if it's up really high, it'll start out sinking slowly, and then it'll sink faster and faster and faster, so that you don't have to sit and wait for it forever. 
there are several modules. You can look at the modules book, but basically all it does is it tells you about all these different modules. So the, modu the ship has a single module slot. You may have noticed when we were in there. There is one module slot. So we can only give this thing one module, which is kind of sad in a way. But, but it's fine. There's really only one module that I want. Um, and that is the speed module. So we have a minor speed module, and that's this guy, which requires a bunch of these logic chips. We're going to be making a lot of these logic trip chips um, because all the modules require them. Um, what I want is actually the major speed because that's this one is going to give us a modifier of additional 0 0.8. This is going to give us 1.6, so twice as much speed. This one has no cons. This one fuel, burns fuel twice as fast. So <laughs> something to keep in mind is that we will be burning fuel a lot faster when we're using this module. In fact, we might even want to make both so that when we don't want to go quite that fast, we can just throw this one in there. Um, there's also inventory modules, which we're not going to use um, because we want we just want speed. Because these guys will actually slow you down a little bit, um, and the big one will cause you to burn fuel faster. Um, there's also an infinite fuel. Now, this sounds really interesting to me because we would never have to give this thing fuel anymore. However, it has a 50% negative speed modifier, so it cuts our speed in half, which is totally not worth it. I've, we've got plenty of, we've got a good charcoal generation set up. So we also have water landing, so you don't have to, so you can land on water, and you don't have to worry about sinking into the water and blowing up. Um, and we can do unlimited max altitude, but of course we can also upgrade the uh, thing for that. And then we have efficiency modules. Now these are going to make our fuel last longer. The major one will slow us down. Um, and then we have the jukebox module. Now this one's kind of fun. <laughs> it basically installs a radio in there. So you can, you can play all the Minecraft songs. <laughs> you can select one of the Minecraft songs to play in there, like one of the discs songs. But of course, we're going to do the speed module. So we're going to need four of these logic chips. All right, there's our speed module. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now we can, there's a few other things we can do to our ship to make it look different. Um, we have this colorizer, um, which, you know what, let's make one just for fun. We have our balloon colorizer, which will allow us to change the color of the balloon. Um, and then we also have these different patterns that allow us to give the balloon different patterns. So we have a checkerboard, we have a um, polka dot, zigzag, and creeper. Uh, we we're probably not going to bother with that. I'm not too concerned about making this look, you know, <laughs> all that interesting. I, in fact, I actually prefer the flat pattern. But the color the colorizer is pretty nice because you can basically create your own custom color. Let's try this color. Okay, so this is a one-time use, just like the um, upgrade, or just like when we upgraded the frame. You shift, left click, and that changes the color. There, <laughs> it actually looks kind of cool. I think I like it. Okay, so then we hit R. We throw our fuel in there. Now I've got a whole bunch of fuel with me because remember, because of our speed modifier, this thing's going to go th burn through fuel a lot faster. And now. We could, now we're moving a lot faster. Hooray! You know, we could actually use this to get around our base, too. That wouldn't be such a terrible thing to do. It's not quite as fast as the, <laughs> the hang glider when we're jumping down from up here, but it's also a lot cheaper to use because that hang glider can get pretty expensive. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm ready to go find our summer home. Right. So I'm just going to throw some fuel in this guy and time to go. <laughs> going to go explore the world. I've got some powered lanterns. I've got some thermoelectric generators and some lava and, well, water, which I can get anywhere. So I'm basically ready to, to kind of establish a temporary base somewhere. A home away from home. And we can, <laughs> now we can fly over our home too fly over our factories and stuff and our farm and see what everything looks like from overhead. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's a pretty neat mod. 
it's I think it's nicely balanced. It's fairly easy to work with. Time to explore new lands. So I do hope you join me next time when we'll be probably exploring some new lands and hopefully I will have my skin back by then. <laughs> and we'll start establishing a summer base and maybe even looking at some more transportation options. Um, we have another flight we have another flight option in this pack that we're going to be taking a look at very soon. So if you do have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to click the like button and to join me next time. Thanks for watching.